welcome back to the morning show. It's time for Wise Gals Wednesday. Yeah, spring is coming, and that means there's a lot happening out in nature right now. Pam Leiter, who manages the Homer Lake Interpretive Center at Homer Lake Forest Preserve, joins us now to uh, show us some cool things about owls. Good yeah. morning, Pam. Good morning. It's good to be here this morning. It's good to see you. So um, first and foremost, we can see owls really right in our backyard. Yeah, if you have big mature trees in your backyard or nearby where you live, there might actually be owls living in that area and you could hear them or see them if you know what to listen for and what to look for. And what makes owls so, so special? Um, yeah, there's quite a few things that uh, make them really special. They have, um, most people notice those big, beautiful eyes when, uh, when they see a picture of an owl. And those eyes are what help them to, um, to see at, at night. So here's, here's an owl right now who's like, he's nesting the owls. <laughs> they, they start nesting in January and February around here. Like springtime, you know, is time for birds to start nesting and having families. Well, they get a big head start. Here's one like in the middle of a snowstorm still incubating their eggs. So they nest really, really, really early. Um, if we go to photo number two, he, these are two little baby owls in the nest with either the mom or dad. It's hard to tell um, which one, but they are just fluffy little cute little things. Um, and that, that would be about the age that they are right now if there's a nest in your backyard. So um, I don't know if it's, it looks like they can't bring up that photo, but maybe in a little bit. But yeah, they're already nesting. They already have a family even before all the other birds are starting to nest. Um, and their, their big, beautiful eyes, oh my gosh, they are so gorgeous. It's what people notice most often. Um, and they, that's what allows them to see at night. So if we have a, we have a photo of a replica of an owl skull to kind of show you like how big those eyes are compared to the rest oh, wow. of their skull. Like they may take up most of their head. So, and this is why an owl can't move their eyes around like we can, um, they have to, if they want to look somewhere else, they have to move their whole head. So that's one of the things that makes them special. Another thing are their talons. We have a photo of the talons, um, photo number four. Yes, look at those huge oh, wow. talons on that owl. <laughs> I'm it scary. That's going to do some damage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you were a mouse, you would definitely be scared. <laughs> yes, that's making great hunters of all those rodents and mice and things. And then their feathers also really, really amazing. I have a feather here, but we also have a picture of a feather that kind of shows you up close what I want to show you about them. Um, number five, if we can bring that one up. They, these, the owls, they are such silent um, liars at night. They need to be quiet. Hmm. Oh. And, yeah, and the reason why their feathers are so quiet while they're flying is this fringe, the yellow circle around the the um, edge of the owl feather on the left hand side versus a goose feather on the right hand side where it's just like straight across. A lot of times when you hear a Canada goose flying overhead, you can hear the woof, woof, woof of their wings. Owls don't make that sound and it helps hmm. them be really good hunters. Really cool. So, yeah. Can, yeah. You can you explain to us what an owl sounds like? I know that we always think when Ooh. we watch the Disney movies, it's always <laughs> the hoot sound. Do you have a specific sound yes, for us? We have a, yeah. Yes, some, some of them hoot and some of them don't. Uh, I have a, a couple short videos that we can watch. The Great Horned Owl is the first one, and what you're listening for is the, the rhythm of their hoot, and this one does hoot, so let's go ahead and play that one and listen for the rhythm of it. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> All right, so they, uh, the rhythm kind of sounds like, who's awake? Me too. That's how I remember it. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's that rhythm. Who's awake? Me too. So that's what you're listening for when that one hoots. There's another one uh, that lives around here called the barred owl, who also hoots, but has a different rhythm to their hooting. Let's go ahead and listen to that one. Oh my God. <laughs> remember 
where that one is the rhythm kind of sounds like he's saying, who cooks for you? Who cooks for you all? <laughs> I love and, that. Um, <laughs> that's cute. Yeah, it's just a really easy way. You can put your own words to it if you want, but that's the way I, I remember it. And the third one is the screech owl. He actually doesn't hoot. He sounds to me not screechy, which is, you know, I don't know how he got his name. He sounds like a tiny little horse that's whinnying. Let's go ahead and listen for the screech owl on this hmm. next video. Yeah. Yeah. So you can kind of see why I think that he kind of sounds like a tiny little toy horse whinnying. Yeah. Um, and these guys are really small. They're maybe like this big, little teeny tiny owls. Uh, but they're so fun and they're so cute. Um, and if you want to come out and see owls or try to hear them at Homer Lake Forest Preserve, one of my favorite places to do that is at Maple Sugar Grove. It's just a little ways from the Homer Lake Interpretive Center where there's some really big trees with holes in, in, there, in these big trees where a lot of times owls will nest every year so you can see you have a really good chance of seeing them. So Pam, if we are out there looking for them, what should we be looking for? Because they do blend in pretty well. Yeah. Yes, they're very camouflaged. You'll probably either see them flying or hear them before you, before you see them in the forest. So I mean, really just takes being aware of what's going on, noticing you know, up in the trees, maybe checking out some tree holes, using your binoculars to look in there, see if there's a little head sticking up. Mm -hmm. Just really just listening um, around sunset, sometimes during the day, but usually around sunset. I was at Meadowbrook Park last night and I heard a great horned owl there. So oh, wow. um, they're, they're around for sure. And are you open out there at Homer Lake if people are interested in giving this a try? Yes, for sure. The park is open and the Interpretive Center is now open again. We reopened last week uh, to the public and we're open Tuesdays through Fridays, 1 to 5 p.m. right now. Um, and you can come in. Masks are required and we have a 10 person, 10 visitor limit right now. So, but you can, we're open again. You can come inside, see the displays, see some of the taxidermied owls and um, enjoy the Nature Center inside. Awesome, Pam. That was so fun. Thanks so much for your time this morning. For sure. Thank you so much for having me. You bet. Have a great week. Jake has your forecast next. We'll be right back.